congratulations on the film, you guys. Thank you. Um, it's thrilling yet thought-provoking at the same time, right? And, yes. Um, now, let's start with you, Mr. Nick. Mm -hmm. I just interviewed you from Uncle Drew. Yeah. I mean, Uncle Drew to this one. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, how, what got you interested? Uh, you know, I, I really, I had a, a couple years ago w realized that after I did a, a specific job that going forward I just wanted to do the things that seemed the most interesting. Uh, and first came uh, this uh, very silly basketball movie in Uncle Drew. <laughs> which is awesome. Which and was great. Right. Yeah. And, I, and I loved doing it. And then this came right after that and, and it just felt like what a what a lucky time in my career that I get to do such different kinds of projects with people that I respect in both and 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 have the opportunity to, to do very different things. And uh, for a movie to say something, I mean, before that you were doing Loving as well. Yes. I mean, another thought-provoking movie. Yeah. So hats off to you. Thank Mr. you very much. <laughs> and you, Mr. Lior, what got you interested in making the film and joining the cast? Uh, first of all, I was I was doing my show in Israel. Yeah, and, which is amazing. Uh, thank you so oh, much. Yeah. And I got this opportunity to uh, to come and to to do this amazing and big for me. It's a big big film, and with amazing actors that I was I was honored to be with and to work with and You're to welcome. learn from. You're thank welcome. You. I know. Thank you. <laughs> He's my teacher. He's yeah. my Aww. mentor. He's my mentor. Always. So. But, but you know, but you know, without kidding aside, I mean, your characters are catalysts to getting Adolf Eichmann, um, you know, uh, out of Buenos Aires and right. getting tried, right? It is, it is hard and it's crazy thing that they did there on those days to go to Buenos Aires to bring this architect of, of, of the Holocaust yeah. to Israel uh, instead of just killing him there, mm -hmm. it was much more easier. Yeah. But in order, but then they brought a plane, and then they brought like uh, they did yeah. some crazy stuff. Just well, in order also to do the, that. your character uh, Isser Harel is the head of the the Mossad and Shin Bet. The fact that he would go to uh, Argentina to participate is crazy to think. Yes, it, it was important to him to do that, and for Israel in those days it was very important. So this is why he chose to go there and to control everything. The one thing that I learned from the movie, and I had no idea about this, that Buenos Aires is, un was anti-Semitic. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that there, I had spent a lot of time in Argentina. Uh, ironically, I'd lived there many years ago, and and uh, and there was the Amia bombing. They had been another. So it, Argentina has historically had a been a safe space for the Nazis to come and. Uh, and, and has been a continual, continue, even though there's a big Jewish community there, they've had continual issues with it. Uh, and I think at that point in this early 60s, when Perón had been in power, the fascists were protecting each other. Um, and, uh, and it created an environment where Nazis like, uh, like Adolf Eichmann and, and, and many other prominent Nazis were able to go. All I know from uh, Argentina is Evita, of course. Yes. <laughs> yes. No, and seriously, one quick thing. Why is this movie relevant to today? First of all, we are in in a, in an era that there is anti-Semitism anti and there is racism all over the world, and we have to understand and not forget that uh, what happened there, then, and what could happen in those days, mm -hmm. and just don't forget it and and be aware. And That's right. If hate is allowed to flourish, yes. yes. No, no more hate. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so, you so much. much.